Come in. Hey, sis. Hey, girl. How you doing? Bye. How are you doing? Hi, oh. Wendy. It is feeling good up in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, girl. Ooh. Five miles. Uh. <coughs> Running. Walking. All I know is it smells good in here. And this breeze smells good. What else you got in this pot? You know how I feel about people in my kitchen while I'm cooking. So we at church on Wednesday, right? Don't talk about nobody. Talk about who? So we at church on Wednesday, right? I'm praying, minding my own business. I have a hard time believing that. Seriously, it's just me and Jesus. Then guess who walks in with her new husband? I thought you said you were minding your own business. Don't be ugly. God don't like ugly. I'm just saying. And she almost blinded me with that big old red. If you don't have anything good to say, don't, don't say, say nothing, nothing at all. Hey, Winnie. Hey, hey Auntie. Hey, me. Auntie, you must be in here talking about people. Now, you know Mama don't like you talking about nobody. Dorothy, she sounds just like you. Mom, I need to borrow some money. Now she sounds like you. What for, T? To pay my cell phone bill. I declare you think I'm made of money. So, T, how's college life? One more year and I'll have my business degree. That's good. Get that education. Mm -hmm. You know, my mother used to tell me, don't depend on no man. Always have your own money. Remember that when the dollars start rolling in. <laughs> my granny never worked a day in her life, and my granddaddy always took care of his family. Sure did. Right, Ma? Mm -hmm. That's right. We may not have had a lot, but Mama certainly knew how to make it work. Remember how Mom used to stretch that last little bit of milk by adding water? <laughs> Went from 2% to negative two percent. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember how sometimes mama would be in the kitchen mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you'd hear her sing. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I Jesus is on the main oh, line. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dorothy, yeah. I know you're making sweet potato pie. That's why I came over here. <laughs> you know I am. <laughs> How many you want this time? Just two. When are they gonna be ready? Come by tomorrow at the church. All right. Thank you so much. See y'all. You're yeah. welcome, honey. Thank you. Ma. Yeah, baby. How do you make your pie crust? I tried making one and it tastes nothing like yours. You just gotta know. Mama didn't write down her recipes, but everything seemed to come out just right. You just gotta know. Girl, your mama ain't gonna give you or anybody else that recipe. I've been trying for years. Since mama passed. So why are you begging your mama for lunch money anyway? Don't you have a bed? No. Leave my baby alone. She's exactly where she needs to be. Really? When I think about your love life, I imagine a rainy day with dark clouds and heavy rain. Hurricane Katrina, Rita, Wilma, Tsunamis all going all over Japan. You need to get out of my kitchen. All jokes aside, can you come over to my house on Friday and sit with my dog Tauncey? He hates being in the house all alone. I won't be home till after midnight. Oh, come on. Mm -mm. You're the only one I know who's not busy on the weekend. Oh, you know what? This is what you need to do, Thelma. Oh. You need to go in the basement and get me some more sweet potatoes. Now I'm depressed. <laughs> T, I don't know why your auntie likes picking on you. But God is concerned about everything that concerns you. So talk to him often about everything. 
and above all, guard your heart. Thanks, Ma. You're welcome, baby. Sure it's hard to concentrate with all that aroma around here. <laughs> Hi, DJ. I can smell that food outside. That food smells good. Thank you. I fixed the car, though, and I changed that oil, too. You're the best son-in-law that a mama could have. Tell me, how is it possible that you have every tool known to mankind in that garage? Because it's better to have it and not need it than, than to, to need it, it and, and not have it. it. You know oh, it. Gosh. By the way, how much do I owe you? Please, I owe you. For all the times you helped me and Sabrina, you don't owe me anything. Thank you. Hey, CJ. Hey, Auntie. Hey, we're going to take a look at my car. Winnie had to bring me over here today. Something wrong with my brakes. I'll take a look at it this weekend. Hey, T, we're hiring at the bank if you want to work. I'll hire you. Okay. Just go online and apply, and then email me your resume. Sure will. Okay, Mr. VP. <laughs> so how is that son of yours? Where is Malcolm? Supposed to be outside running around with his friends. Okay. Weren't you supposed to meet with Sabrina? Yeah, at three. What time is it? Oh. What time is it? 3.45. <laughs> hey, hey, CJ, let me know if you need a blanket. It's cold in the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> the doghouse, auntie. <laughs> and you know my child is going to be furious. <laughs> Oh, Big Mom! My Lord, what is going on? He was chasing me! He... Wait a minute, who was chasing you? Fiji! Mr. Mason's dog! He chased me down the whole street! Mm -hmm. That little Pomeranian. He's me! Me, huh? Oh, You were messing with that dog. Give it here. Big Ma, I don't have... Don't make me call your father back to this house and he just left. <laughs> Not daddy. <laughs> now you thought that just because I wasn't outside, I wouldn't know what was going on. Be sure your sins will find you out. God sees everything. Now what was the song I taught you when you were a baby? Trust and obey. That's right, and I want to hear it. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. That's right, baby. You remember those words. They're going to save you a lifetime of heartache. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go make sure that Fiji made it home safe and you apologize to Mr. Mason and then come back to the house because your mama's going to be here soon. Okay. okay. All right, big mom. Okay, baby. Auntie, let me see that. Ma. Yeah, baby. How did you know he had that slingshot in his pocket? Mommy's just know some things. <laughs> you sound just like mama. I'm done. I can't take it. What happened? I got married. That's what happened. Mm, I can tell you how to give them. But I can't tell you how to keep them. <laughs> oh. Why don't you go in the other room and watch some television? He doesn't listen. He doesn't remember anything. We had an appointment today. He didn't even show up. It's the same old thing. I'm done. Bree, marriage can be difficult. And what could make it even more difficult is that you have two imperfect people coming together trying to accomplish anything. Oh, but by the grace of God, Malcolm. it can be done. Now, I can't speak for all men, but CJ, he's a good man. I didn't say perfect, I said good. Now, what you have to ask yourself is, am I bringing glory to God in my marriage? Mom, I know what the Bible says, but I don't want to be a doormat. Malcolm, let's go. What would happen to your shirt? Lord, 
please help my child. Ma, did you and Daddy ever fight? I know y'all loved each other. Yes, we loved each other very much. And I was blessed to have him tell me every day of our marriage. You know, Mama and Daddy showed us how to be toward each other. And they were together for 52 years. I remember when uh, your aunt and I were little girls. We used to sit in the kitchen and watch Mama cook. One day, Daddy came in the house furious about something. He and Mama got into an argument. Next thing you know, Daddy stormed out the door with it slamming behind him. Mama stood at the door looking out. Seemed like we wondered, what was she gonna do? And then all of a sudden, she started singing. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God. The next thing I knew, they were back to being lovebirds. <laughs> you know, I asked Mama what her secret was, you know, to being a good mother. All she said to me that day was, time it. Trust God's time. And then she said, Take two sweet potatoes, a quarter cup of butter, two eggs. Is this what I think it is? I gotta write that down, Mom. No, baby. Don't write. Listen. 